Hello my friends, welcome to the Electric Viking. Fantastic to see you here on another beautiful day on planet Earth. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel guys, I'd really appreciate it. If you did, it helps me to keep on creating videos for you. And if you have any particular videos you want to see, make sure you text me on Facebook Messenger. Just jump on Facebook, like the channel. You can find us, The Electric Viking. We're on Facebook. And then send us a message. I've had a few messages so far from people. And I definitely will have a look at your request if there's something you would like me to do. One of the requests I've had recently was a very interesting one. It's one I've been thinking about for a while. It's about which lithium miners are the most likely to succeed over the next decade. Now, I think this is an enormous industry where there's a lot of money to be made. So I'm currently researching a video for electric lithium mining companies based on some recommendations that I've had, some inside tips from one of the watchers of the channel. Now I made a video probably about a month ago about BMW, about how BMW planned on going bankrupt by the end of the decade. And you know what? I wasn't clickbaiting, I was telling the truth. BMW have planned for failure. BMW have said there isn't demand for electric vehicles, which is utterly insane, as you know. There is enormous demand. Demand is going through the roof all over the world right now. However, BMW's recent sales have proven BMW was wrong. So this is not just about me and my opinion now. This is about BMW selling three times as many electric vehicles over the last quarter as they did in the quarter before that. Proving to themselves that they were wrong and that they should pivot immediately. Now, German luxury automaker BMW, I own a BMW X5 by the way, so you would think me owning a car like that, I would be biased or partial. However, I try to be as impartial as possible when reviewing brands and the automotive industry. Now, BMW has reported a tripling of sales of full battery electric cars in the first half of this calendar year, including plug-in hybrids, which have more than doubled over the same period. However, interestingly, plug-in hybrids have more than doubled, but full electric vehicles have more than tripled. Now, BMW has said something which is honestly just stupendously stupid. They said, as expected, our customers are buying significantly more electrified vehicles right now. BMW chairman Oliver Zips said, now slap me in the face if this isn't ironic. My goodness, BMW claim there's no demand. Then they say, as we expected, our customers are buying significantly more electrified vehicles right now. The kind of nonsense that comes out of this company is truly mind-blowing. And they continued, in the first half of the year, our sales grew by almost 150% of EVs in our domestic market of Germany. Nearly one in four BMWs and around 30% of Mini sold already have an electric drivetrain. But there's no demand. Hmm. Now, the number of fully electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles BMW delivered in the first half jumped by 149% to 153,243 to units in the first half while deliveries of all electric models jumped by 184% to 36,087 units, compared to 12,000 units delivered in the same period of 2020. So, BMW has seen a tripling of electric car sales, and claims they foresaw that, even though they claimed there was no demand, so therefore they weren't actively pursuing sales of EVs. Mind blown. Anyway. By the end of the year, we aim to have a total of 1 million fully electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles on the roads, and by 2025, 2 million pure electric vehicles, Zip said. By then, we aim to deliver 10 times the number of BEVs we sold in 2020. 10 times the number. So that means that BMW aims to deliver 1.27 million EVs in 2025. Now, if they can do that, I will have to take back my statement on BMW going bankrupt by 2030 because that is a significant diversion from BMW's plans as of only a few months ago. Clearly, BMW have realized they are wrong. Hopefully, they watched my video, realized how stupid they sounded, and started to plan for a clean future in which they can actually sell vehicles that people want. Now, over the company, company's entire lineup, electrified vehicles accounted for 11.4% of total deliveries for the first half of 2020, but this will be significantly higher by year end. Sorry, I meant over the first half of 2021. 
Further electrification of our vehicle fleet is the focus of our short and medium term planning, said board member Nicholas Peter. Maybe Nicholas Peter has been putting some pressure on the CEO of BMW to realize he was a moron. Anyway, the all-electric BMW iX has been rolling off the production line at our plant in Ding Olfing since July. This will be followed in the autumn by the all-electric BMW i4 from our main plant in Munich. All our decisions are clearly focused on the main topics of electrification, sustainability, and digitalization. We are using available resources intelligently for maximum impact. And BMW, as ever, loves marketing jargon. In fact, they're one of the probably top three car companies in the world who absolutely love marketing jargon. They make up all kinds of slogans and things all the time. Their PR department must just be having a field day every day thinking of what wonderful, magical things that they can say. They even do this before they plan on EVs, saying they're all about sustainability. They clearly weren't. Anyway, at least they're on the right track now. It appears they are anyway. BMW successfully launched the BMW iX3 in the first half of this year and expects the all-electric BMW i4 and iX models to follow in the coming months as the Northern Hemisphere moves into autumn. Further all-electric models will be presented in the near future. According to the company's earnings press release, and over the next two years, BMW expects its electrification efforts to cover nearly the entire breadth of the company's portfolio. Specifically, up to 2025, BMW expects its sale of all-electric vehicles to increase by more than 50% per annum and result in delivery of around 2 million all-electric vehicles. So obviously BMW is once again saying two different things, saying 10 times 2020, which would be 1.27 million. Now they're saying 2 million on the other hand. So I'm not sure which one they're aiming for, whether that's 1.27 million or 2 million. Hopefully we'll get some more definitive answers from them within the next few months. My concern here though, is that while BMW is quietly going about transitioning to electric vehicles, they're keeping the door open on hydrogen. And I believe there is still within the company, the belief that hydrogen vehicles may be one of the significant transport drivers going forward towards 2030 and beyond, which obviously is wrong unless you're referring to trucks. And we're not referring to trucks. Anyway, moving on from that, to me, this is good news. BMW has, for whatever reason, changed their minds on on electrification. For whatever reason, realized there is demand. As it's mind-boggling to me, they didn't in the past recognize there was demand. In fact, a number of their executives, including their CEO, were quoted by me in a video saying some utterly insane things. Anyway, moving on. This is a great result from BMW, and this is proof to BMW's executives, to BMW's chairman, to their board, to the CEO, that electric vehicles are most certainly the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.